welcome to episode 11 of the Gypsy Bird Makes podcast. I'm Bethany and I'm so excited to have you guys joining me today. Um, This is the last podcast of 2022. Can you believe that? Um, I can't believe that I have been doing this for a whole year Um, and I just want to thank you all so much for your support and your kind words and um, following me along on this journey as I kind of learn what I'm doing and figuring it all out. Um, I think I'm getting there. I think I've improved quite a bit from the first episode. Um, At least I hope so. But um, yeah, I have a lot of things to share with you today. Um, I have, I don't even remember how many finished objects. Five and some, I think. Five and a bit. Um, But yeah, I'm going to share those with you. I have all my advent plans that I'm going to be showing. Um, I also have... um, Advent projects that I'm working on and stick around till the end because I'm going to have a giveaway. This is the first time I'm ever doing a giveaway for the podcast and I'm really excited. Um, I had some items gifted to me um, that I could either keep or give and I kept some and I'm giving some. So um, I hope you guys will stick around for that. Um, It's going to be really fun. I think it's a really cute prize. Um, But yeah, we will get started. first finished object is going to be what I am wearing. This is my brioche shrug that is by Suzanne Summers. I finished this before we moved from Kentucky to Colorado. I finished it just a couple days before and this is actually my first time wearing it. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love how it turned out. Um, I really, really loved making it. Um, It was a really fun um, knit. It kept me in, interested um, with the brioche and then the um, garter. Yeah, I really, I love how it turned out. Um, this being my first time wearing it, I am not loving the sleeves. Not loving that, uh, thatness thing. I don't know what it is. Like, I guess the long sleeve? That's kind of not my jam. Hold on, the dogs are barking. So I'm not sure how much use I'm actually going to get out of this. Um, There's actually a string there that I need to fix too. Um, It's really, really pretty and I love the colors. I love how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for helping me choose my contrast color on the end. Um, That just turned out so good. I am so glad that I went with the green and not the blue like I was leaning towards but all of you were saying green so I did pick that out um so yeah overall it was a really great make um I thoroughly enjoyed knitting it I'm just not sure if I really love this style I think I like something that's going to come up here more um but that's just me that's just my preference so I used a lot of stash yarn for it. Um, I actually have it in here how much I used. So let me tell you the yarn first. Um, I have one of the ball bands, so we'll just uh, we'll just go with that. So the um, variegated color. Let me show you. The variegated color there um, is Angel Cake by Yarn Cafe Creations, and then the purple is by moon glow yarn co and it is in lavender or lunar lavender which i absolutely love and um i had two skeins of the purple and then three skeins of the variegated and i ended up using let's see the moon glow which is the purple i used 171 grams and then the angel cake um which is the variegated i used 184 grams Um, so yeah, and I only used 10 grams of the green for the striping at the end. So I still have 10 left of that because it was a 20 gram mini that I had. Um, and I'm not sure who that was by. Um, it was just in my stash. So I think that worked out really well. So basically it was four skeins. I still have one skein of the angel cake left over and just a small amount. Actually... I don't know if I have any left of it. I think I might have traded that with somebody. Might be all done with purple, which I absolutely love. 
<clears throat> excuse me, I've got like drainage and all the things that are happening with the cold weather. So I used a US 5 for the body. For the sleeves, I did them with a nine inch and the only nine inch that I had um, that was closed was a US 6. So that's what I just went ahead and did for the sleeves. Um, I did a lot of extra um, repeats at the bent end because I think like my gauge was smaller row wise than it was. Um, I had it right on the um, stitches but not on row size so I needed a lot more in length. Um, so I think I did I think it calls for eight repeats at the end and I ended up doing 12 repeats. Um, so it made it quite a bit longer. I wanted it to cover like my butt and to be um, a little bit longer than it was looking. And I um, pretty aggressively blocked it. So I got as much length out of it as I could. And it's really squishy because it's garter and brioche. Um, but it has this slip stitch design. This is Isis, by the way. I'm on the floor. So they're all like, what are you doing down here? Go lay down. Go on. Go lay down. Thank you. All right, go lay down. This episode's going to be crazy because I'm on the floor and it's like midday so they're all not used to me doing this till later when they're all tired the dog so yeah buckle up it's gonna be a wild ride <laughs> but i was just saying this has the slip stitch design on the side and i'll take a video for you i actually haven't taken any photos of this finished yet because um we moved so quickly and it rained the day before we moved um, and was gloomy and then here at the campground there are a lot of people and there's nowhere really nice to take photos so I've got to kind of figure out where and how I'm gonna do that I think I have an idea we'll see if it works so that is my brioche shrug which is also you'll have seen the actual name of the shrug I can't pronounce it so I'm not even trying um, but it will be linked in my Ravelry project page down below so I really enjoyed this make and would make more from um, Suzanne more of her patterns because it was really well written also I made a size 4 just in case you were wondering the next thing that I finished was actually the first thing I finished and this has been used um, quite a bit um, since I finished it so this is the double thick hat that I made for my son um, I made it I finished it basically right after I filmed the last podcast um, I talked about it a whole bunch in the last podcast so I'm not gonna go into it a whole bunch but um, this is a pattern by Karima Ali and it's called the double thick hat um, I used a US 3 needle for this and um, the yarn is the green here is Sorella and it is in Tom Branson colorway and then the black on the inside is by Forgotten Fibers Paint It Black. So I hadn't decided what color I think last time that I was going to do for the inside um, but I just went ahead and did the black because I thought that would look good. Um, and I finished it up pretty quickly. It's basically a muscle bra hat, but you can the construction is a bit different. You can see where I where I joined right there. Um, so it is basically a muscle bra, but what you do is you do a provisional cast on here. And you knit all the way up, do your decreases, then go back and pick up your provisional cast on and do the exact same on the other side. So um, I made the large pattern. There's like a kid and an adult. My kids have big heads. So I decided to go with the adult size. Um, I changed the decreases for the crown here. Um, I did it to a certain point and then it was look, I needed to go it faster. So I just cut it out a bit. So I just made it a little quicker. So, um, I, since this is basically a muscle bra hat and I've made the muscle bra before, um, I just think I'll stick with the muscle bra for now because, um, 
the provisional cast on was not my favorite and then going back and picking it up I feel like it is just easier to start from the crown of one and knit all the way through like the muscle bra does um, but this pattern is free so if you're looking for a good um, free alternative to the muscle bra I would definitely check out this pattern the next thing that I finished is something that I don't have with me because I mailed it off. My mom's um, dog chewed up one of her favorite socks that I had made her. Um, it was a military share pair by Mandy's Making, um, and I'll pop in a picture of it of the original pair here. I did not snap a picture of the new one before I sent it, but it's identical to this photo. Um, so I made that um, using the notes from Ravelry um, and just knit her up a second or a third sock for that and mailed it to her so now she has a matching pair again um, so yeah that was a quick make really fast done <laughs> um, I had a goal this month of November to make 30 preemie baby hats um, we had a giving make along in the love and stitches membership and that was what my um, my giving was going to be so um, I didn't make my goal it did not but I did make quite a few so um, I ended up when we were moving I ended up hurting my finger um, and wasn't able to knit for a few days um, and then um, just with the way it was crocheting was easier so I ended up working on my on a different project um, for that and so I didn't knit for probably a week or so um, so that cut out doing the um, sorry some my mom is calling um, doing a um, what was I saying I lost my train of thought for doing it a hat every day of November so what I did I did get seven done which isn't horrible, but was not as many as I wanted to get done for sure. So I did, um, if you don't know, if you're new here, my husband is a NICU travel nurse. So preemie baby hats are something that he can take to work with him and use there. And um, our youngest was in the NICU. So we got a knitted hat when we were there. Uh, so it's a very special place for us. And, um, I love to make these. I've crocheted probably hundreds of them in the past and donated them. Um, so knitting them was just the natural next next thing. Um, so this is what I had, what I did. I used, since I was making the military share pair for my mom, I just had a little bit of yarn left over. So I went ahead and made some baby hats out of them. Um, and these are the ones that I ended up making with that pair. So those were the first three. And this pattern is the one that I have used multiple times. Um, let me see. This is the Premi Baby Hat by Karen Everett. Um, great pattern. Really like it. Um, I believe it's a free pattern as well. So um, then after that, um, I made these three. So they're all the exact same. This is just some Hobby Lobby yarn that I had in my stash left over. So I made those three. Next, I wanted to try out a different pattern. So I found a hat called Baby Beanie by Yuli Schober. Schober? I'm not exactly sure. And I made one of them. This was the one that I was working on last. Um, it is really fun. I love it. Um, I love I'll be making more of these also love that it had no ribbing because that was the, that took the longest on these little baby hats um, but yeah I really love how that turned out so I plan to make more of these in the future I actually knit almost a whole second one of these um, but then I ran out of yarn and also the yarn was really um, it was a Miss Babs yummy two ply and the gauge was just too tight and I wasn't loving it so I just tossed it because it was the end and I didn't want to use it anymore. So it was an almost made baby hat thrown in the trash. <laughs> but um, these are the seven that I made for the month. Um, and they're just going to go in with the other ones that I have in this bag. So I think I had, I don't know, there's one, two, three, four, five, 
eight, eight or nine in here plus seven. So I have 16, which is like half the goal that I wanted. Um, but I have put these on hibernation. So if you go looking for it in my Ravelry um, project page, um, it is hibernating right now because I won't be working on these this month. Um, but they are linked down below. So if you want easy access to them. I also used a um, 1.5 millimeter needle for these, which is or 1.5 US needle, which is a 2.5 millimeter needle um, for those. So yeah, that's what they are. So that was my giving of the month. Um, the next one that I'm gonna show you is not in order of how I finished them, but I wanted to go ahead and show these first. I made um, some fingerless mitts for my daughter. Since we moved to Colorado, it is very cold, and when we go out, it's cold. And normally we go out later in the day, which makes it colder. <laughs> when the sun drops, the temperature drops crazy. So I let my daughter go through and pick out a skein out of my stash, and she picked this beautiful skein that I have had for, I've had it for, almost about a year and a half almost two years i got it at in norfolk at a, the yarn club store there so if you're ever in the norfolk area that is by far probably the best yarn store i've ever been to i absolutely loved it um but she picked out um a skein by life in the long grass and it is called cockle shell i think so these are the ones that i ended up making her I love how these turned out. This is a pattern called Everything November Bits. No, Everything November Mitts by Jen Yard. Um, and I'll try them on because I, I have basically the same hand as her. Um, they're a little hairy because she had them for a few days. But this is what they look like. They're a three by one rib. Um, they were really easy to make. I made them in about two days of worth of knitting. Um, yeah, I really like how they make turned out. I think I'm going to make me a pair, um, possibly the same pattern. I'm not sure. <sighs> Probably the same pattern. We'll see. But, um, yeah, I really like how they turned out. She's really excited to have them. I did change the thumb. Um, the thumb calls, hold on. Yeah. Focus. There we go. Thumb calls for um, ribbing, but I just continued in the stockinette for the thumb gusset and then just bound off with a stretchy bind off. Um, and I also added about an inch to the arm part. I wanted it a little bit longer because I knew that's, that's what she would want. So those were made for, for the girl child. And then this next part, if my mother, again, is watching, you're not allowed to watch any further. I will put a timestamp down here for you to skip to because you're not allowed to watch the next parts. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna do the, the easy one first. Um, I made another pair of the everyday socks because I loved the pair that I made myself last month, month before, something like that. Um, so I wanted to make my mom a pair because she likes footies and she loves the socks that I've made her, hence me having to make her a third sock for the one that her dog ate. Um, so I decided to do an everyday sock pair for her. Um, and this is what it turned out with. I had um, in my stash, I had Moon Glow um, Yarn Co's firecracker set from not this past July but the July before I think and I always knew I was going to make my mom something out of it because her favorite color is blue and that and she loves American like Americana things um so this was the perfect opportunity to do it I knit two pattern except that I did not do the middle ribbing part again that's in the pattern um, I just did stocking it throughout um, I used a US one for this and let me see it doesn't say let me see how much yarn I used for it because I used a bit more than I thought I was going to use my computer's right here so I'm looking it up on RAV um, I used Oh, I didn't put it there. How clever of me. Hmm. 
I think I used about 40 grams. I did not write it down. And it's not on Ravelry. Joy. But I think I used about 40-ish 40 40-ish grams for them. Um, but yeah, I still have quite a bit of the blue left, so I'll be able to make something else with it. And I did the, um, I think it's the Eye of Partridge heel. It's whatever was it's whatever um, is in the pattern but those are a Christmas present that are done and ready to go um, and then my last finished object I cannot even explain where did it go oh there it is I cannot even explain how happy I am to have this done so so happy to have it done so it is the granny square cardigan by pattern of i don't know and it is done this beast oh my gosh so it's got a hood on it it's got all the things like it's 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 heavy it's really really heavy so this is a pattern for my mom that she requested for christmas um from me um, she, well, no, she didn't request it for Christmas. She doesn't know that I've made it. She requested that I make it and she wanted it in different, um, like a different way than what the pattern was. So she bought the pattern and sent it to me. Um, so it's not on Ravelry or anything like that. It's kind of wild. Um, and I told her, okay, you buy the yarn, I'll make it. Um, but then like we moved and all kinds of things and it was hectic. So I find, I decided that I would just make it for Christmas and, um, surprise her with it. So she's coming to visit us for Christmas. So hopefully it will be a big surprise for her. Um, and hopefully she likes it. She wanted it to be with the black background. So it kind of like popped the colors and she wanted a lot of blues with some pinks and yellows and purples mixed in um so that is what i did um i will also put in a video of me modeling it for you it is it is not my favorite crochet is wild it's wild it turned out really pretty it's just not my jam and i really hope that she likes it um but i made a lot a lot of alterations <laughs> like a whole bunch so yeah so many alterations but here is the sleeve which is a little longer than I thought it would be but I can't get my sleeves to look right apparently um, here is the hood um, yeah this is the back side so the back um, for the original one um, was one big granny and she wanted it to be a bunch of little granny squares so that is what I did there and then on the front. So that is the most I have crocheted in probably five years. Yeah. And it was just made with, um, I love this yarn by Hobby Lobby. Um, she, when she was going to buy the yarn, that was the yarn she was going to buy. So I went ahead and did that. Um, put it up there so it doesn't get messed up um yeah and I actually um I actually washed it in the washer and dried it I didn't want to like block it block it because it for one it's worsted weight it would have taken years <laughs> to dry um and yeah I wanted to see if she would be able to wash it in the washer so I washed it on a gentle cycle cold and then did basically an air dry until it was almost all dry. Um, so it turned out great. So she'll be able to do that when she is at home. And I used a size H, which is a five millimeter hook. Um, and yeah, I am so glad that it is done. It's all done. So that's all the finished objects that I have to share with you. In the month of December, I didn't feel like I finished anything. Like I felt very stagnant and like I wasn't getting anything done. Um, I finished this cardigan, but then that was just one thing. And then 
Um, once I got to the like the last week, the last week or so is when I've actually gotten some more things accomplished than what I thought. So I'm glad that I had a little bit more to show than, than I felt like I was going to have. So Work in Progress is going to basically just be Advents. Um, like I said, I've put the preemie hats on um, hibernation for right now because I'm not really going to be working on those because I have all of this advent things that I'm doing. Um, so if you're following along with me in Vlogmas, then you will already have seen um, my projects and my advents. Um, but if you haven't been following along, um, I'm going to go through them really fast for you guys. So. I got the Cozy Knitter Advent um, Stripe Sock Skein, that was a lot of words, with my friend Stephanie. Um, it comes with like 114-ish grams, um, and you can make two pairs of socks with those. So um, me and her split it, she we went to her house, and then she shipped it to me um, so generously. So we are able to make them together, which is also fun, and do a stripe a day. So I haven't done today's stripe, which is day four, um, but I did do up to day three. So let me show you what I have. This is also an acquisition, just in case you're curious. But this is what the skein looks like, all wound up. I did it in two, um, I think they're like 25 each or so like that. Um, but this is the first one that I have. So this is day one, two, and three. Um, and before the first, I went ahead and did the cuffs. Um, this is also, uh, this, there we go. Also a, um, an acquisition. This is a skein. Do I have the yarn tag in here? I do. Okay. So first let's do this. Let's be proper. This is the cozy knitters skein, um, label. So that's what we have and the yarn is 80% superwash merino and 20% nylon which is my favorite base and then the contrasting color that I am using is by Earth and Empress Fiber they are on Etsy and this colorway is a Christmas on the farm and I measured it I weighed it when I was done gaining it up or caking it up and it was 107 grams so that's why I wrote it on there so I would remember um, so I am enjoying making these alongside Stephanie Stephanie also sent me this adorable little stitch marker so we both have that and are using that together and this stitch marker on this one um, Stephanie sent me last year that she made me so I really love those and love being able to use them together so I have both of those here ready to go um, and you just do a skein a, a stripe a day um, and then you have a pair by Christmas so I'm gonna be using the um, where did I put them this is the here let me show you this I feel like I'm all kinds of discombobulated today so I apologize if this is spastic but this is the contrast color um, and it's also an acquisition that I'll talk about in a minute but you use your contrast for your heels, toes, and cuffs. Um, so this is what I will be using for that. And I'm not sure. I think I'm going to probably end up doing either the fish lips kiss heel or um, the... I'm probably going to do the fish lips kiss heel. It's probably the one I'm going to do. And I'm housing this in my cottontail um farms bag that i got at saf i love this bag so so much um and you'll see that i may have purchased a few more so that is the first whip that i am working on and let me put it back in here so i don't get it all kinds of lost <clears throat> and then the second one that i am working on is what i am doing with my blush yarns advent um natalie makes the most beautiful advents 
and this year is no different. Um, so I have opened three days so far um, and I'm a little bit behind on it because we had a busy week. But what I am doing is I'm making the shortest day cow and that is by Christine, Christina Gordon. And it's this beautiful, very simple um, shawl. I said cow, didn't I? It's a shawl. Um, there are two different sizes for the shawl and I am making the smaller size because I kind of want to use it as a cow, um, which is why I called it a cow. But um, it's just really simple. It looks like it would be a lot of purling as well as, as knitting, but it's not. So how you make this is you do it as a circle like a sweater type and then at the end we're gonna steak it and you're going to have all the um, all of the beautiful fringe is from where you steak it which I'm really excited to do and see how that turns out so for my advent so far this is what I have this is day one and then I've barely started on day two I think I've done like three rows so I'm doing um, like I said, there's a larger size and a smaller size, and I'm doing the smaller size, and um, you do 12 rows for the smaller size each day. So I am trying to get caught up with this, which I don't think it'll be too hard once I get past, once I get caught up, it'll be really easy, but I just have to get to that point. Um, and I am using my Pine and Fox needle stoppers there. I absolutely love these. They're amazing. Um, and I'm using a US 4, which is giving me quite a loose gauge, but I think that's going to be okay. We'll see. I definitely haven't checked to see if I have gauge or not at all. But let me show you. This is the second day's color pretty green and then the one that will go after that was day three which is this really pretty blue which I'm really excited about and I can't wait to open today's and see what it's gonna be like I'm housing this in an acquisition that I got from Cottontail Farms this is her I think it's her medium or small zip bag I think it's medium but it's beautiful and I love it so those are the only two whips that I currently have I once I get caught up on my shawl I am going to need to cast on a couple more things so yeah we'll talk about that next in upcoming projects <music> I lied. We're not going to talk about upcoming projects yet. First, we're going to talk about acquisitions because um, it'll just make it a lot more, a lot more sense if it's acquisitions next. So let me take a sip of my water and let's get into this. So I didn't think I would have very many acquisitions for November because we moved smack dab in the middle. So don't really order things when you're moving because you don't want them to arrive late or not arrive to you in time um, so all of this happened in the second half of the month so um, what was I gonna say the um, Nitty Natty's sock miss started this November um, and I needed some Christmassy type yarn to knit with um, and I also forgot to mention that my mom's socks from um, with the blue were my first pair for sock miss I made them within 30 hours um, like that first weekend of sock miss which I think was last weekend um, so yeah I made them really really fast and I was the first person to post in our discord which I was like yeah I was kind of proud of that but um, they were my first pair of sock miss socks and I do plan to make one more pair before the 16th today's the fourth so oh yeah that's plenty of time so um, I wanted some yarn that I can make for sock miss because you get like extra points if you have Christmas themed or winter themed yarn so I 
um, purchased two skeins of yarn from Earth and Empress on eBay or eBay on Etsy and um, you will have already seen the one that I started my sock or my advent socks with so that was the um, a Christmas on the farm skein so this is that one and I want I bought this originally to make me a pair of socks with um, and then when I was trying to find socks to uh, find yarn to make for my cuffs and things on the advent one um, I was like oh this one would be really pretty so I decided to use it for that as well but I'll still probably make me some socks out of it um, but who knows it probably it's not going to be during Sockmas and it probably won't be during um, the month of December <laughs> anyways the other skein that I got is right here and it is also by Earth and Empress and it is Christmas on the no that's not right it's called a gingerbread house and I have already skeined it up because oh, it's like a really really messy thing um this is what I want to make my dad a pair of socks out of, and that's going to be for his Christmas, part of his Christmas present. Um, he really enjoys the socks I made him, and I didn't have anything in stash that I thought looked like my dad. Um, so I got this, um, and I already have the stitch marker I'm going to use with it. That is last year's um, Sockmas um, stitch marker by Lock and Lou, and it's the little mickey mouse wreath which i absolutely love um so i have that ready to go i just need to cast it on which i might do maybe i'll do that today i'm not sure but i need i want to get these done by the 16th one so it'll be part of Sockmas, and two so i can get them shipped off to my dad um in virginia so what i plan to make well i guess i'll talk about that when i plan to make in a minute um but that was the first acquisition. Then, then my advents came in, um, and I was so excited. So I have four advents that I am opening. Two are bought and two are swaps. And then I also have my advent skein from Cozy Knitter that I've already talked about. Um, so I got that one. And then the first one that I purchased was the Blush Yarns Advent. Um, which I bought I think back in March or something um, and I was really really excited to get that so I got that and she was so so generous and so sweet and she added in some skeins for me so she was so sweet I love it I love her yarn you've seen me use her yarn multiple times before so she included let me get these up Ooh, these four skeins for me are they not beautiful and she was like you can either keep them or you can give them away and when I opened them I was like oh yeah I'm gonna give them away I'm gonna do a giveaway and then I opened them and I was like oh but they're all so pretty <laughs> I told her I didn't want to give any of them away um, but I am gonna be giving one of these away so stay tuned for a little while but thank you so much, Natalie, for gifting me these. They are absolutely gorgeous, and I love them so much. Oh, I just love her yarn. It's so pretty. Um, so those came, they're also an acquisition, so they're going in stash now. Um, and then the um, second advent that I ordered was from Moonglow Yarn Co., and I ordered this um, fairly recently. It is her, um, do I have the thing yet? yes it is her rainbow advent um so this is what they are all going to look like um i'm really excited because i have a project planned for them that i'll talk about in a little bit but it also came with this beautiful big bag which is awesome um i've been keeping all my acquisitions and finished objects in it so they're all in one place um yeah it's working out great. I think that's what I'm going to do is use it for the podcast. Um, the other advents that I got were swaps. So me and my sister Sabra decided to do a swap. We did a 12 day, 20 gram swap. Um, and where is it? I can show you what I've gotten from her so far. So far we've only opened two skeins since we're doing it every other day. Um, hold on. 
Where did the other one go? Okay, so this was day one. This is a Miss Babs yarn. It's really, really purple. It's got some Stellina in it. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to keep my face off it. Very pretty. And then the one that I opened yesterday is this beautiful pink, which I am really gonna love. So even, I might use these together because they're so pretty. Um, but yeah, we're really enjoying opening those. So far, she's liked the ones that I've sent her, or at least that's what she's telling me. So keep on telling me you like them, if <laughs> that works. Oh, and let me show you what I have for Moon Glow real fast. I have them in here too. I'm just throwing them all in this bag um, since I'm not doing a project with them right now. Um, and that's working. It's working well for me right now. It's like, where's the other skein? Okay, so I think now I've forgotten which way they go but these are the first three maybe they go this way this way pretty sure they went the other way these are the first three skeins from moon glows um advent they're so pretty i mean they're not a surprise because i can look on the card and see them but um it's still fun to open them each day and not know exactly what they're going to be and then the fourth advent that I have, I did with the Love and Stitches membership. Um, we did an advent swap, obviously. And me and my partner, Summer, are doing 25 day 10 gram minis. And hers have been so pretty. Um, I've loved them. I think she used row one for the first two. So these are the first two. Oop, it ran away. These are the first two that I got, which I really, I love this one right here. Oh, it's my favorite so far. I love that one. And then this one was day three. Come on, focus on me. There you go. That one's day three. So I'm really loving all of those. I think they're beautiful. Um, and I just love Advent because we get to open them every day and it's something to look forward to. And it's just, it's exciting. Um, so those were all the advents that I got. The next thing that I got was, so I, I absolutely love the cottontail um, bag that I got. Um, it's so pretty and I'm just kind of obsessed with it at the moment. So I bought um, a few more. I already showed you the one, which is this one, my little koala bear. Um, and I wasn't sure if I was going to like the zipped ones because I really liked the drawstring one that I had, but this one is so pretty. I love it so much. Um, and then I got one of her little, um, I can't remember what they're called. They're like pocket something. I'll try to put it on the screen of what they're called. Um, but it just holds one skein or it can hold, um, I know spinners also use this to hold like fluff or something or fiber, I guess is what it's called, not fluff. So that one I also got. And then the last one that I got is this. So this one is beautiful. Um, Chelsea was so sweet. I, um, I saw this print in a small bag, like a um, Notions bag. And I loved the print, but I didn't want another Notions bag because I have plenty of those. Um, so I messaged her and I was like, hey, I really love this print. Would you by chance have more fabric and be able to make me like a bigger bag for it? And she's like, oh, I actually already have one. It's just not listed. Um, so she listed it for me and I was able to get it. So this is just like the one I bought at SAF. It also has the um, D ring so I can use my, um, my leather strap with it. And I absolutely love it. I I'm in love. So I've already got projects in all of them. This one's an upcoming project. Um, but yeah, I was really, really excited to get that. So excited. Um, and then if you're watching Vlogmas, you will have already seen this, but on the second, which was two days ago, um, wool and Woolberry, I keep saying Woolberry, and I think it's just Woolberry. Yeah. Woolberry Fiber Co. Um, is located just north of Denver and I am just east of Denver so um, 
they had an open house and I went up and was able to go and see some of their yarn and things um, and it was really fun because I had never purchased from her before any yarn um, but I've been following her for a long time so I was able to get some yarn and I got these two beautiful skeins these were part of her holiday like special little holiday one so this one is called gingerbread and this one is called glisten and I think that those two are going to go together beautifully so that is what I plan to do with those um, and I'm going to talk about what I want to make with those coming up in a minute and then after I went to Woolberry's open house I had a few hours before I needed to pick up groceries so I went to a couple of yarn stores around Denver you can see all of that in the vlog but if you haven't watched it and don't want to watch it I'll show you what I got at one of the stores I got these labels by Cat M um, and they are so cool um, a friend of mine has told me about them and or well I saw them that she was using them and they made her garment look amazing um, so I wanted them and I was actually looking to purchase them on line and then I saw them in this yarn shop so I was really excited so I bought up two packages of them so I should have plenty of those and then the other thing I got were these really cute stitch markers they're like little flowers come on focus there we go they're little flowers and I just I had to have them so that's what I got there um, I have one more thing that I want to talk about my sweet sweet friend Stephanie when she sent um, my advent stripe that we're sharing she sent along some gifts for me and she was so sweet so um, she made some socks with dragon horde yarns running up that hill um, colorway and I love that colorway it's so pretty I'm thinking of possibly getting a quantity a sweaters quantity worth of that um, but she sent me her leftovers let me just take it out of the bag because it's so pretty so she sent me her leftovers and I'm gonna make a pair of socks so I can have a matching pair of socks with her but oh my gosh that colorway is beautiful and then she sent the two two minis and it's beautiful let me show you she also sent this she's just so sweet I am so excited to use this I love that colorway I love um, Tristan's yarn um, so thank you Stephanie for that um, she also sent me that gingerbread man um, stitch marker and I have been wearing this so please ignore all of the um, all the dog and cat hair but she sent me this sweater which was from natalie of knitty natty's sorry the dog just said the thing um natalie of knitty natty's um definition collection um i don't have a ufo one so this was perfect then on the back it says love and stitches oh look at all that hair see i even i even used the uh, the thingamajigger that you get hair off with it and it's still hairy <laughs> what happens with you live in a zoo but I love it so much it's so cozy I've been wearing it at night when I am sitting on the couch knitting and it's the best so thank you so much Stephanie um, oh she also sent me one other thing I think it's in here maybe I don't know where it is oh yes it is in here I have never tried um, tuft um, hand lotion before but she sent me this one and it is cider apple or cider donut. It smells divine. Oh, it is so good. I love it so much. So like apple um, candle scents are my absolute favorite. And I, I just wanna like smell it all day. It is amazing. So I'm keeping that in my project bag so I can use them at night because it's amazing. Um, so yeah, that is all the acquisitions. I think that was plenty, don't you? Goodness. It's a lot. I'm still going to make a lot, or 
basically everything that I wanted to make last time. Um, but I've also added some things. So I'm going to go through them real fast and just kind of tell you what I'm planning to make. There's a few things that hopefully I will make and you will not see because I will have already gifted them. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through those real fast for you. So like I said, I wanted to make my dad some socks for Christmas. Um, so that is what I'm going to be doing with this yarn, starting that soon, finishing and shipping before Christmas. So next time I'll just have a photo to show you. Um, but that's one of the ones. The other one that I need to get done before Christmas is not that one. <laughs> Here we go. This one. Okay, is I want to make my mom another pair of socks, um, but I wanted to make her some DK socks. So the ones that I am wanting to make for her are called the Four Hour Socks by Lauren Slagle, um, and I will put a po picture up for you. Um, I thought those would be fun and cute for her. They're also going to keep her feet really warm and things like that, and hopefully will be a pretty quick make. Um, I was going to do these for... Um, for sock mess, but then I realized that sock mess is only for fingering weight. So this is the yarn that I'm going to use for that. I have had this in my stash um, for about a year, I think. Um, and I was going to make me some mittens, but then I decided that that, not mittens, some like slippers. That's what I was going to do. Um, but I decided that wasn't what I wanted. So this is by A Little Fox. Um, and I got it at a local, at a local yarn store in Raleigh when we were there. Um, and it is called Mini Pearl, maybe. There we go. Mini Pearl. Come on. Focus on that. There. No. Ah. Anyways, trust me when I say it is called Mini Pearl. Um, so I have those ready. I was actually thinking of casting these on before Advent, but then life got a little crazy and I wasn't able to. Um, so those need to be made before Christmas as well. Um, and then the next thing is I still want to make that one sweater, um, but I don't think it's gonna be done by Christmas, um, which is okay. I'll just gift it later. But I have all the yarn and I've put it in my new bag and I have it all in here. Um, and I just really need to get it cast on. Um, but first I have to get those socks done. So I'm going to get those socks done, try to keep up with Advent. And then this is next on my list to do. Um, I want to make some fingerless mitts for myself. Um, I made the one for Felicity and I decided to do hers first, but I already caked up the yarn for mine. This is by 29 Bridges. Um, I got it at Saf. And the colorway is go to wait no who do you um, and this is her her label so when it's called who do you um, so I have that already and I even have a little stitch marker from lock and Lou on there um, ready to go if I can get those done I'd really like to get these done also just not enough hours in the day y'all not enough hours um, and then uh, with my moon glow yarn advent I am wanting to make the Cambito cardigan or it's not a cardigan pullover um, photos right here but I think that'll be really pretty with all these colors fading um, and maybe use a solid color to kind of break up the colors a little bit um, this isn't going to be an advent knitting project. It's maybe not even going to be a January one, um, but I definitely want to do something stripey with it. So that's the plan for right now. Um, I still would like to make the Salem um, sweater by Dragon Whore Designs and also the Montrealer. The Montrealer I actually um, did the provisional cast on and started to pick it up. But then I hurt my finger and wasn't able to knit. So, um, yeah, it's still sitting there, not nothing done to it. So it'll be ready when I'm ready to make it. I have all the yarn ready for it. Um, one other thing that I really want to make is the Blurry Cal by Hohi Locatelli. Um, with it being in a colder climate and wanting something like 
wanting more knitwear to wear. Um, I saw that and absolutely love it. Um, I didn't have any yarn in thought for it until I went to Woolberry's open house the other day and found these two. So I'm thinking of making it with these two and then adding a third color, maybe from Stash, maybe one of um, Natalie Blush Yarns yarns. Um, I was thinking this one, but I think that's going to be too light. Um, I don't think that one will go with it. But I have another brownish, orangish one upstairs, and I might use, or upstairs, up in the yarn bit, um, and might add it to that. So that is another thought for it. Um, but that is all, that's all that I had written down. I mean, that's not a lot at all. Ooh, I just moved the whole camera. That's not a lot at all, is it? And a whole bunch of that is not going to get done this month, but I'm making plans. <laughs> Well, it, it tracks that life was pretty hectic again in November. Um, I see them like I say that every month and I don't know why my life is so chaotic sometimes, but here we are. Um, we moved this month. Um, if you watched last month or if you watched my moving vlog or have watched anything recently, you will have known that we moved from Kentucky to Colorado um, for an eight week contract with my husband's job. He is a travel nurse and he is contracted at a hospital here in Colorado through um, the second ish week of no January. Um, so we will be moving again next month. Um, hopefully, um, well, yeah, uh, next podcast, I will know where we are going and I might find out during Vlogmas. So if you're really interested, um, check out Vlogmas and see, uh, what's going on. But we had a really great trip from Kentucky to Colorado. We did it in three days. Um, and we got to go through some states like Kansas that we had never been through and yeah, it was pretty wild, but we had a good time. We had a good trip, got here, God answered all of our prayers and thank you to all of you who prayed and supported us during that move. Um, we are really enjoying Colorado. It has been very cold, um, like getting down into the single digits at night sometimes. Sometimes you're not even above freezing during the day, but that's what you're to expect in the mountains, even though we're not in the mountains. We are east of the city, so we're in the high plains, um, but the mountains are quite, they're across the way. They're, they're on the west side of Denver. Um, but yeah, we're really enjoying it. Campground's nice, and the people here are really sweet, so yeah. It's, it's been good. Uh, we did pick up a, uh, a uh, stowaway when we came. Um, I had been feeding some stray cats um, and also a stray raccoon. Something just fell. Sorry. A stray raccoon and a stray possum in Kentucky. Um, and one of the cats was so sweet. He would come up and ate like he had never eaten before. Um, and would come, let me rub him and all this stuff. So I did not want another animal, did not want to take this cat, just wanted to feed the strays, let them be. Um, but we were breaking down the night before we moved and um, here came this cat that I had been feeding, meowing and so excited to see us and I was just like, oh, I can't leave him. So I picked him up and brought him inside. <laughs> so Harry is now our cat. He is super sweet. He is named Harry from, he's like Steve the Hare Harrington from Stranger Things and we call him Harry. Um, and he's super sweet. The dogs haven't quite adjusted to him yet. So we're kind of keeping him separated from the dogs. Um, but he's really sweet and he's um yeah he's part of the gang now so lord have mercy uh let's see what else what else is happening um well we are doing vlogmas as i've mentioned more times than need it and so if you would like to follow along well, i would love that it's a video every day from december 1st to december 26th showing you 
everyday life, what's happening, what's going on. Um, so far, it's been really busy. The first day, we went to the Denver Zoo, which was a lot of fun. That was a huge zoo. It wasn't nearly... Um, it was way bigger than I thought it was going to be and had a whole bunch of awesome animals. Um, so that was really fun. Second day, I went to the Woolberry Open House and um, the other yarn stores. And then yesterday, um, I did a whole bunch of cleaning. So yeah, they are dropping every morning at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Um, so you can check those out. And I'll be doing those, hopefully, God willing, until... Um, Christmas and then posting the last one on the 26th so come along if you'd like to um, what I've been watching so it was a pretty good month for watching TV uh, me and my daughter watched Enola Holmes 2 um, I mean that's 11 from Stranger Things so you have to watch it and then you have Bellatrix and Lupin from Harry Potter which is wild um, so we enjoyed watching that together and um, yeah it was a good movie it's a nice clean movie for you to watch with your kids which is great um let's see i've been watching oak island the curse of oak island which is on discovery channel um and enola holmes is on netflix if you didn't know but um the curse of oak island is one of my husband and mine's favorite shows um and it came back on the new season so we've been watching that um, one of our goals is to one day go there and do a tour. That would be so fun. We finished watching Andor, which was excellent. Um, I think it was kind of a slow start for the show, at least for me. But once you really got into it, it got really good. And I'm really looking forward to season two. Um, so that's on Disney Plus, And it's Star Wars related, in case you didn't know. And then another thing that we watched on Disney Plus was Willow. Um, I had seen where they were making a new like show for the movie that was from the 80s and I'd never seen the 80s version but I knew that it was like a George Lucas Lucasfilm type thing um, and it also has um, oh I can't think of his name right now the main character of the show who plays Willow um, he was also in multiple Star Wars episodes um, Star Wars universe things and he's been in Doctor Who and all kinds of things um, so I told my husband I wanted to watch it. So we watched the original movie Willow, um, which I'd never seen before, but it was really good and I enjoyed watching it. Um, it was kind of funny because it's from the 80s, so of course it's different than today's time. Um, but we watched that and then the, I think the same week the show had come out, so we watched the first two episodes of that as well. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. I did not guess the right person for the storyline um i'm not sure if anybody would have i think everybody thought it was someone else but i definitely didn't guess correctly which was a nice shock because i'm pretty good at picking out things and figuring out storylines because i watch a lot of tv um but that was really good um and then recently the last since december 1st i've been watching everyone's vlogmas um, I'm trying to keep up with some of my favorites like Nitty Natty and This Little Wonderful Life, um, Made by Maddie, those type of, of um, vlogmas putter outers. <laughs> um, so I've been enjoying those a whole bunch um, when I've been able to watch them because it's been wild. Um, so yeah, it's been a good month and December is going to go so fast. Um, I'm doing vlogmas, it's Christmas. We're trying to get as much of the Colorado experience as we can um, while we're here. And since we're only here eight weeks and normally we're in a contract for 13 weeks, um, it's, I feel like we need to do things all the time to get them done. So we have plans to do um, the aquarium. Um, go There's this place up in Cheyenne, Wyoming, which is like two hours from us that um, you ride a train and you go see the bison and things like that that we'd like to do. Um, there are just other, we want to go up into the mountains. We'd like to go snow tubing. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of things that we would like to do. Um, so it's going to be really busy and it's going to be 2023 before I know it. And then, yeah. So what that means for the podcast is 2023, I am going to start doing two podcasts a month, um, because 
I think that's needed because these are getting really long and yeah, I just think it's needed. So we're going to try it out. Might go back to once a month, but probably will be twice a month. Um, it'll be on set days. So probably like the fifth, like it is now and maybe the 20th. Um, I haven't decided exactly yet. Um, but I will know all that in the January 5th episode. Um, so since my friend Natalie was so sweet and gifted me some yarn and things like that, I wanted to pass that on to my viewers. So I have decided to give away this beautiful skein of blush yarns in this beautiful pink. It's like a peachy pink. Um, it is so pretty. And then um, my advent from her came with this beautiful bag um, that matched this yarn perfectly. So this is what the bag is. It is so pretty. It's got a zipper and it's got the little handle um, and it is pink on the inside. And this is made by, uh, let me see if I can get it to show. This is who it's by, um, Yuli, I think. Um, and she has all her information. I'll tag her down below. Um, but this is going to be the gift because I just bought a whole bunch of project bags and I kind of forgot that I was getting this one. So I'm going to let someone else use this beautiful bag because it'll just sit in my, in my cabinet for a while. Um, so this is going to be the giveaway today and I would love it if you would just comment down below, um, what your th favorite thing of 2022 has been. If it's a big event or something little, it can be yarn related, it can be life related, whatever it is, comment down below what your favorite memory thing of 2022 is. And then in the next podcast, I will announce who is the winner and ship this off to you. And international is open as well as within the US. So comment away. So I just want to wish everyone a very happy Christmas, a good holiday season. I hope you all have a great December um, and enjoy just spending time with family and, you know, remembering what the true season of Christmas is about, which is Jesus coming to the earth to sacrifice himself and save all of us, which I think kind of gets lost in the hustle and bustle of the season. Um, but that is the true reason of Christmas. So I hope you guys have a great one and I will see you next year.